Vice President Kashim Shetima has implored Nigerians to uphold truth and integrity in the face of misinformation and falsehood that threaten the fabric of society. Shetima made the call in Abuja at the presentation of a big titled Beating All Odds, Diaries and Essays on How Bala Tinubu Became President. On the central character of the book on President Tinubu, Shetima noted that even though trying to dent the image of his boss, know full well that the president is a political phenomenon. I hope that this marks the beginning of our commitment to truth, our dedication to integrity, and our resolve to push for a nation that comes together to choose the truth over a lie. Whoever possesses the power to crab words into memorable sentences is an army of one, especially when they see the world through three dimensions. The soldier whose invitation we have honored today embodies both these qualities and more. Mr. Sam Omashe stands as a courageous sentinel for our history. He transcends the omission of those who shy away from truth in the most uncomfortable places and in the scariest of circumstances. Therefore, he is both a hero of the people and an intellectual I'm excited to celebrate today. The build up to the last presidential elections in Nigeria revealed a peculiar type of writers and bloggers. Those who could have hijacked the robust journalism of this great country if men and women of objective standing had not stood up to defend the fourth asset of the realm. These authors, devoted to political fantasy, have dedicated their lives to crafting false narratives and outright publications to sow chaos. In beating all odds, Mr. Omashe didn't only set out to share his personal diaries as a well-read political historian. He has given the world a three-dimensional view of the Nigeria His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu inherited with brick after brick of elegant words, one profound essay after another. Successfully, the author underlined both the delicate and the concrete, the private and the public, and the kind and the mean tons of events that led to this electoral outcome. Our recourse to parks in this climate of propaganda and lies will disinfect the minds of the impressionable, and this book does justice to the subject of President Tinibu's ascent of the ladder of glories as the recipient of the nation's highest honor, the office of the president. I believe this book is an interaction with time, a record of the science and miracle of our journey to this height. His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinibu it's a political phenomenon. Even those who attempted to undermine him live to confess to this fact. The president's years of building people and relationships played out during the elections, and this book provides sufficient material for curious minds. Earlier, the chairman of the occasion and former Governor Shango Oshoba of Ogun State commended the efforts of the author of the book. As a book, written by an enterprising journalist and an influential columnist. This is another feather in the decorated heart of Sam Omashaye, the four-time winner of the Informed Commentary Prize of the Diamond Awards for Media Excellence and also four-time winner of the NNMC. The versatile writer who makes words sing and dance when Omashia wheels words around in his column, you just, just flow with him and virtually singing and dancing with him into the reader's consciousness. For his part, the author described the book as his own attempt to put in context all that transpired during the 2023 electionary period. It was an interesting thing to do, and uh, after going through the story, uh, I thought I should gather all those together and tell the story, because many people 
many people started fighting and saying that the election was delegitimized and so on and so forth. Uh, and it, it was a way of trying to put in context all the things that happened. Mr. Lewis Odion, the big reviewer, described it as a meticulous chronicle of the most divisive presidential election in the history of Nigeria and a vindication of the president as well as a razor-sharp snapshot of Nigeria at a critical moment. This book is significant because it is the first attempt at documenting a momentous period in our recent history. As many we now agree, Never in living memory has the nation found itself dragged into an electoral contest where religion and region were brazenly weaponized. The book is written by a veteran journalist and literary artist, Sam Omatseye.